And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cardinals here, they're in a real groove of late. Winners of five of their last six games. And last week, they put together a three-touchdown victory, and were never challenged in that game. Let's see if they have a little bit of a letdown here. League, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Watkins. Pass interference. Defense. Sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play, but by the letter of the law, that's definitely a problem. Now a handoff up the middle. And he's going to take this. There's Big Fat Barry for three yards. Take a look at his last week 29 for 205 and two touches. Last week, there was no answer for him defensively. Over 200 yards, two touchdowns to boot. And that was a fun film to watch because a few of those runs, it was apparent he was just not going to be. They're going to look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The result, only four yards there on the play. And now we've got a third down and three. But Charles, you, you think about their impact more impressive. And when one of their starters or one of their key guys can't play, they miss it, but they just say, get well. We'll hold the fort until you get back. And the next and the oh, my goodness. And the Niners are going to take it. They'll be let out by their third-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given room for improvement for their numbers. No doubt, they made some slight adjustments to how they're going to call plays this week in hopes they can kick those numbers up a notch. They'll roll him out right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They certainly did a nice job. That sets up a first and goal. He'll drop to throw. And they're going to get to him. A Simmons, great defense the there. Isaiah Simmons in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. He's having a heck of a year of pass rushing this year. He's got another one here picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new look to throw. Good defense. Kinlaw striking his old team with the sack. So the defense sticks up for our young quarterbacks. Played this guy about five times. Turned his defense. The fireman. Go out there, guys, and don't want to put some points on the board. All right. Look at Detroit. 12 and 2. And for the moment, they're for them not to make the play. Yeah, for sure. They're going to be in the tournament and certainly going to be a dangerous team. What a catch by Dell! Wow! Dude, he's like freaking Spider Man out there. But sometimes you just gotta marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And that's how you start a drive, because you know they have this play in their back pocket, waiting for the right time to unleash it. And boy, did they pick the right opportunity. Unleashed Man. Time, and that was awesome. They've had him for a couple of years. Oh, they're gonna run a little pop and he is pretty good. I played him. I've beat him in the playoffs a couple times, though. Man. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I tried to sneak one in there. I knew nobody was covering him. I know it's not smart throw across your body, but he's wide open. <laughs> first down. That was close. <laughs>
Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. There's Barry. You know what time it is. Big bad Barry time. For that, I'm going to try a play action. From the two now, second and goal. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's got his money. The 6'8 Koontz with the touchdown. His first touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Balls out. McCaffrey lost it. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. Buda Baker, we got the ball back. McCaffrey fumbling. There, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two red zone following that fumble recovery. Big lane up the middle for Big Bad Barry. Game is set. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your own line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. On second down now. Big Bad Barry down to the one. This old line's got creating huge holes. First and goal. They got the ball in great field position after the fumble, but this defense trying to stand tall. It's easy just to pick them out. There it is. Touchdown. Big Bad Barry. Big Bad Barry. You heard it right, 13. Nice sweet dive in there. Good defense, again. Is this run defense is something scary, man. God. Great run defense again, man. Nowhere. Nowhere, McCaffrey. Running on flat tires, buddy. Especially against Kenneth Murray, part of the Murray and Simmons law firm, man. Oh, what a sack! Nuosu! Hell of a defense. There we go. Six out of seven, 83 yards. There's Barry. Oh, and running right up his old line's back. His old line's down. back. Now remember, these two teams met in Glendale earlier in the season with the cards coming out on top. So a win here in Santa Clara would give them the season series. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On play action, they'll throw. Wide open. What a catch for Dell! Man, his second big catch. Man. Thank you, guys. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming. Ooh, second and eight. And gave the teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Ah! 
Ah, dang it, man. I got pressured. Man. Try to step up in the pocket and throw it over him. It didn't work. Good defense, though. Kenneth Murray again. Coming up big. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beat. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get... Yeah, we saw the result. <laughs> Negative yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. <laughs> Back to throw. <laughs> <there. laughs> the cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Ochina Nuosu able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, they haven't given him much to cheer for so far and never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Wow, what an interception. <laughs> Trayvon Mullen. Possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. It's another Oski, because that's. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. And yeah, I know, man. He had a lot of potential coming out of Clemson, right? I think. Good run. Exactly what they needed right there. Back to throw. Finding his target is Tristan Bride. McBride. Disheartening throwing those two picks, but. Good to the one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Let's go now. They'll try and run right on the option. All right, with that run, he crosses a thousand yards rushing on the season. Congratulations. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it's still. They'll run on first down, Irving, and they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break it. Here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. There we go. Dell showing a little speed. <laughs> no, the, the funny thing is, actually, with Big Bad Barry, I'm rid of him because my two backs, I got basically Dylan's just insurance right now because these two guys are young. There we go. Another first down. And with Cunningham over a thousand yards and three thousand yards passing, it's been a crazy season, man. It's been awesome. Man, this is easy yardage right here. God. Usually it comes down to one block, pretty much. There, first down. There's Cunningham, touchdown, baby. Nice. There's Cunningham, touchdown, baby. Nice. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. 
So three drives, three touchdowns, and they're a PAT from going up 21 to three. And there's no doubt in my mind, you're liking what you're seeing so far, aren't you? They're unbelievable. Like a well-oiled machine, if you will. What's really tough, though? Well-oiled machine is right. They were there against that coverage. They were ready to prevent the big play. Ah. Wow, that was a good catch. I'll give it to you. That was nice. Sky Moore. Wide open. There's that man again. Breathe on. It's probably like playing Tom Brady. There's the six foot eight tight end. Go ahead and spike that one. See something here. They'll look to throw again. Oh, boy, he got nailed. And plays in hoops right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Ah, oh, man. Got in. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Man open, that's Anthony Schwartz. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It'll be an Arizona first down. It's this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It'll be an Arizona first down on a game of 17. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave so far. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Up the middle they go, Irving, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple in the downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back, and he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. All right, first down. Nine yards. City Colbert. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field. Oh, goes Cunningham. First down. Four for 39 today. Oh, the freaking coach gets into a little uh, celebration there. That's pretty cool. Once he decided to keep it, he had the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. They'll look to throw now on first down. And the Niners get there and bring him back. Ah, always on the deep ball. Just working through progressions and just unaware of the pressure, but no matter. Excellent work by the defense to get him to the ground before he can escape the pocket. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. Reason why, and now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. He's got the connection to Moore. There's Rondell Moore. First down. Big game. 25. But they allow the conversion. Third and long always tilts to the defense. And I just remember as a player how many times it's hammered into my head. That is much more than the person who has the ball. And on that one, they didn't have enough focus on him. And so the big man, Koontz. Into a first down. And he's brought down the inside. Tell you what, he's been surprisingly. There we go. Good run. Inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Looks like they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Back to throw now on first down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Oh, Big Bad Barry getting involved in the passing game. A nice little screen. They get six on. Thinking to himself, if I didn't have to slow up a bit here in traffic, I could have really made something out of that one. Man. Smothered. Oh, that's not good. That's our X Factor left guard right there. Now a hand off up the middle. Colbert. That is brought down short. Two yards 
yards. Uh, two yards. And if Bill Phillips don't get one over the goal line, I think doubling him has a real priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The can's kick is good. And that'll push right. the lead up to the tail. Come on, boys. And a nice milestone reached on that last throw is here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passing. And he's really thrown the ball well all season long. Had some big games along the way. He's inspired his receiver. Oh, look at that defense, though. Smothering. Christian Harris in there. Fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they... Back to throw. That's caught by Debo Samuel. What the heck? What a touchdown catch. Debo. Still got Got him. All right. Good stop again. This is that's their second straight two point try. They remain down. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to go to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And one more time, that's Watkins. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. Get him the ball, give him a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Here's a quick throw caught out wide, and he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One Santa Clara. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. On second down, Irving. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. Able to get this one to McBride. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. On the move past the 40. Man, another injured lineman. Come late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now an option play, and he'll keep it. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game defensively when you've got the cans with him, run with him, and try and keep Let's him in the pocket. Down. Yeah, it'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. They'll run on first down. Irving able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. But that was played by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Cardinals are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Well, he does have one touch. On first down, Irving. And he will get it. Diving through the sky like a bird for the touchdown is 14. Diving through the sky like a bird for the touchdown is 14. drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance a very good drive and now conversion to make it a two score game and a solid lead back to throw again complete to the tight end and now look at this big game but a fumble and the Cardinals have got it going the other way what a hit. Marco Wilson comes up with the recovery. 
I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of the football, and they still find ways to knock it free. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And McCaffrey shaken up, so hold everything here as they're going to take a look at it. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. Eluding the point. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Wow, the defense just ripping through the 49ers. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was we'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. They'll fit starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 40. Looking to throw. Taking a shot for Samuel. And unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit. They now it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, this defense has been physical all game long, and it certainly looks like they're not going to back off. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more teams. 93% of the time, you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. On second down now, Irving. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. On third down, Irving. And they needed two, they could only get one. Fourth down. And now here comes their... They'll try and run for it. And he dives forward. There we go. That'll do it, guys. Another W. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting their all game was close throughout. Remember, it was neck and neck at intermission, neck and neck at the end, but a great job to come in here in a tough environment, Charles, and get the victory. Yeah, tough environment indeed. How about all the people we can hear shouting from their seats right below us?